got my attention, baby, go do what you do A bitch should notice, now you gon' have to make a move If you guys can see what's going on behind me, this is basically like a battle zone. Cockroaches, like this big. Let me tell you. Let's just call this cockroach Philip. Now, I gave Philip the chance to escape my house quietly. But he did not do that. No, he didn't. I don't know if he's under there, but last night I slept on the floor because I was too afraid to deal with that situation. So I'm just gonna let that chill. But anyway, for today's video, I thought it would be super fun to do a fall expectations versus reality video. I have been thinking about this for quite some time. My fall season isn't really going how I would have expected it to go or like wanted it to go in my mind. Do you guys do this thing too where if you get into a new situation, like say the school year's ending and summer's about to start, you kind of like play out scenarios in your head of exactly how perfect it's gonna go. It kind of like never turns out the way that you planned it to go in your head. That's kind of like fall for me. With fall, everybody has these expectations of like cuddling and so Tumblr and I don't know, being with boys, doing pumpkin carving and whatnot. Most of the time, that stuff doesn't go down like it does on Tumblr. If you guys can relate to any of these things, give this video one of your thumbs up. And I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's get into the, the video. First things first, dressing Pinteresty for school. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm 100% guilty of like being on Tumblr until like three in the morning and being on Pinterest, just like pinning outfits of like girls in chunky knit sweaters and circle scarves and their hair in like the most perfect messy bun ever. I'm thinking I'm gonna be dressing like super fly for school every day. When it becomes October, November, December, I typically just go to school in my school sweatpants that they like provided for me, you know, like the school sweatpants. A stained hoodie with some mustard on it because I like mustard. Moccasins and whatever mismatched socks that I could find the night before that I slept in actually slept in pretty much all of that outfit. Oh, hey, Ava, do you have the rest of my math homework? Uh, I kind of need the rest right now. Not now, Andrew. Not now. Putting Christmas lights up in your bedroom. Self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> Going Black Friday shopping. Black Friday shopping for me, I had always wanted to go in high school and never once did I get to go because I didn't drive a car in high school, so I didn't have the luxury of being like, peace out mom and dad after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna go pick up my friends and we're gonna canoodle in the nighttime all night long shopping. Canoodling means like kissing. Let me take that back. Mom, Dad, I'm going Black Friday shopping. I'm not canoodling. I'm just shopping. If you ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. I'll call you back. You can tell I got this sack just by the way I walk. I slept 
locked in on Black Friday. Well, at least I still have Cyber Monday. Okay, Cyber Monday. Ooh. The Pumpkin Spice Latte, aka the PSL. Which, by the way, if you ever call it the PSL when you're ordering it, you should be ashamed. Now, I myself enjoy a good hot drink in the fall season, love it, but I typically just prefer either Starbucks or 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven has some bomb drinks, and not everybody can go out and get a PSL every single day of their lives in the fall, so when you post your PSL Instagram, like hashtag pumpkin spice latte for the fifth time today, all these people are like sitting around like, well crap. What am I supposed to do? I want a hot drink. I want a cute Instagram photo. And I don't know if you've tried, but it's really hard to find a pumpkin spice latte when you're not at Starbucks. <laughs> Can I get a pumpkin spice latte? I'm sorry, what was that? Can I get a, a PSL? A pumpkin spice latte? Um, we don't carry that. You guys don't have anything like it? We just have like hot coffee. Oh, uh, okay, thanks. So Yeah, your boy is probably going to be your bed and your fireplace is probably going to be the three hour fireplace that's on YouTube. <laughs> epic Halloween. Every single year since I was like little, I would always dream of having like a really awesome Halloween. Like I'd get invited to a Halloween party and I'd have an awesome costume and I'd get candy and a boy would like like me on Halloween and like demask my like vampire mask and be like, oh, you're so beautiful. Didn't happen that way. Not at all. Let me tell you something extremely embarrassing, but the highlight of my Halloweens of my all 20 years of life was in sixth grade when I got invited to a sixth grade Halloween party and it was actually the most raging Halloween party I've ever been to. The reality of Halloween is that you're probably not gonna go to a raging party this year unless you're like super popular, then by all means party on with the best costume ever. It'll probably end up like this. <laughs> Effortless 
Instagram photo of you in like knee-high tumbler socks with your little coffee mug in your hand and your little midi rings just being all like, oh, with the deepest caption ever. Shoot for the moon, because if you fall, you'll at least land. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is how I look when I take those effortless Instagram photos. It's definitely not effortless. <laughs> from what I usually do. I did a video like this like way, way, way back when I first started YouTube. It was called What Beauty Gurus Do Before Filming and it's still extremely true to what I do before filming. It's also really embarrassing. Oh, hi guys. What's up? I linked it down below for you guys and if you guys want me to do more of these types of reality versus expectation videos let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like me to do like maybe homecoming expectations or maybe like I don't know Christmas expectations give this video a thumbs up if you laughed or related to any of this in any way it would really make me happy to see how many of you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Oh, there it goes. Guys, I DIY'd some awesome sweaters for you guys. I can't wait for you to see them. Whoa, okay, time for me to go. Bye. My window's open and I feel really, really embarrassed now. I'm gonna close that. <laughs>